My topic is traditional advertising in detail explain and let's go to the topic let's go to the start. Traditional advertising refers to promotional activities that utilize traditional mass media channels such as television, radio, print, and billboards. These advertisements are designed to reach a large audience and generate awareness about a product or service. Traditional advertising typically involves the use of creative elements such as slogans, jingles, images, and catchy phrases. It is a tried and true method of marketing that has been used for decades and has proven to be effective in building brand recognition and customer loyalty. However, with the rise of digital marketing, traditional advertising has seen a decline in effectiveness in recent years. While traditional advertising can still be effective for certain target audiences, it often lacks the precision targeting and engagement opportunities that digital marketing provides. With the emergence of social media and online platforms, businesses have more options than ever before to reach their ideal target market. Digital marketing channels such as social media, email marketing, search engine optimization, and pay-per-click advertising offer more targeted and cost-effective ways to reach specific audiences. Despite the growth of digital marketing, traditional advertising still plays an essential role in many businesses' marketing strategies. Some target audiences may still rely heavily on traditional media channels, and for certain industries, such as the automotive industry, traditional advertising is still an effective way to reach customers. It is also often used in conjunction with digital marketing to increase brand awareness and engagement. Overall, while traditional advertising may no longer be the go-to method for marketing, it is still an important tool for businesses to consider when developing a comprehensive, multi-channel marketing plan. Traditional advertising has been the cornerstone of all marketing for decades now. But today's growingly digital landscape brought significant changes in the marketing world. With the appearance of search engines and social media platforms, consumer habits began shifting toward the digital realm. Nowadays, there are over 4.9 billion internet users globally, all of whom have become potential prospects for digital advertisers. But what do these overwhelming numbers mean for traditional advertisers? Can traditional advertising still pay off? Is traditional advertising still effective? These are just some of the questions we're going to answer in this article. But first, we should begin by identifying precisely what traditional advertising is. Traditional advertising is a term that refers to mass media used to distribute commercial messages to broad audiences. In other words, it is an interruptive form of marketing that lets businesses push their products or services in front of large audiences regardless of whether they're interested in them or not. The best way to illustrate that is through a few traditional media advertising examples. Here are the most common forms of traditional advertising. Although traditional advertising has had a long and successful track record, its digital counterpart has proven superior in many regards. Digital advertising has become an unprecedented king over the last few decades. That has led to more businesses than ever investing in advertising over the Internet. Here's an example of just how much digital ad spend has increased over the last 20 years in the U.S. compared to ad spend on traditional advertising mediums. Advertising, the techniques and practices used to bring products, services, opinions, or causes to public notice for the purpose of persuading the public to respond in a certain way toward what is advertised. Most advertising involves promoting a good that is for sale, often through brand marketing. But similar methods are used to encourage people to drive safely, to support various charities, or to vote for political candidates, among many other examples. In many countries advertising is the most important source of income for the media, for example, newspapers, magazines, or television stations, through which it is conducted. In the non-communist world advertising has become a large and important service industry. Traditional marketing refers to any type of marketing that isn't online. This means print, broadcast, direct mail, phone, and outdoor advertising like billboards. From newspapers to radio, this method of marketing helps reach targeted audiences. Traditional marketing is not only one of the oldest forms of marketing, but also one of the most researched. Marketers lean towards this method because it's tried and true. Everyone encounters some sort of traditional marketing in their everyday lives, whether it's getting the mail or your daily newspaper. Traditional marketing plays an important part in reaching local audiences. Ads can be kept for a long period of time, if they're physical. Plus, there's an audience who's easier to reach through traditional marketing than online marketing. 
Traditional marketing allows you to reach a wide audience to build brand awareness, establish credibility and attract more customers. Understanding the different types of traditional marketing forms can help you learn when, where and how to use them in order to build effective strategies that elicit positive campaign results. Additionally, knowing the importance of traditional marketing and its advantages and disadvantages can help you use it more strategically. Traditional marketing typically consists of any promotional materials that appear offline. Marketing professionals may use traditional marketing to interact with their target audience in physical locations. They typically place these marketing materials in places where their audience is more likely to see, hear or interact with them. Examples of traditional marketing are radio and television commercials, billboards and direct mail campaigns. Traditional marketing is important because it reaches audiences who spend time away from their computers and smartphones. It can also reach a wider audience if you place your advertisements in public areas many people regularly visit. Posting billboards or bus advertisements throughout the area can build brand awareness and attract more potential customers. If one of your business goals is to appeal to a local audience, traditional marketing efforts like television and radio commercials, print materials or newspaper ads can connect you with a local audience and make you more recognizable to members of the community. Additionally, because traditional marketing has a longer history than its counterpart, digital marketing, audiences tend to trust it more. Similarly, there's more research on traditional marketing strategies and effects, which means that marketing professionals have more historical information and data to consult when devising traditional marketing campaigns. The key to success is finding the right balance between traditional and digital marketing methods based on your target audience, industry, and marketing goals. By combining the strengths of both traditional and digital marketing, businesses can create a well-rounded and effective marketing strategy that reaches their ideal customers and drives growth. Handouts A handout is typically a printed document, like a flyer or brochure, that can promote a business, event or sale. You can create these flyers to display in public areas that community members regularly visit to tell them about promotional events taking place at your establishment. Brochures can provide details about a company or explain the features of a product, which you can distribute at events or when visiting clients. Potential customers can keep these handouts with them or store them for later reference when they want to learn more about a company or product. Billboards You can typically find billboards along highways or major roads. They display advertisements and company graphics. Billboards typically feature images with supporting text that convey a brief but memorable message to the audience as they drive. Creative billboard advertisements can make it easier for your audience to recognize and remember your brand. Billboards can reach a wide audience from a variety of locations, which can be beneficial if your goal is to gain local or national brand recognition. Direct mail. Direct mail marketing sends print materials like letters or postcards to the addresses of potential customers living in your target area. You can send direct mail to people who have expressed interest in the company or its products. Another option is to send direct mail items to community members who live close to the business. These direct mail materials can build their awareness of the company and help them realize how conveniently close their home is to the business. Many companies, like nonprofit or fundraising organizations, typically use direct mail as an emotional marketing tool. They may use letters to introduce their company and the cause they're supporting. This can create a personal connection between the recipient and the organization. Print ads. Print advertisements allow you to reach more prospective customers through outlets like newspapers or magazines. If you're hoping to build more awareness in the community, showcasing advertisements in the newspaper can help others learn more about the brand, its location and its products. Determine the types of magazines or reading materials your target audience typically reads, and place your advertisements in these materials to generate more sales leads. Event Marketing With event marketing, you can create advertising materials to showcase at industry events, like seminars, conventions or conferences. You can create booths and larger materials like signs or banners to attract attendees to your booth to learn more about the company and its products. Consider setting up similar booths at other local events, like fairs or festivals, to gain local attention as well. You can also participate in sponsorships, like sporting events, to increase your brand recognition and awareness. Broadcasting. Another way to gain either local or national recognition is by making commercials for radio and television. You can make and sell creative ads that help customers learn more about the brand and products you're selling. 
Hearing or seeing these broadcasted advertisements can intrigue listeners and viewers, which may lead them to research the company or contact you to learn more. Cold calling, also called telemarketing, this type of marketing applies to companies who sell their products or services over the phone. Both business to business, B2B, and business to consumer, B2C, companies can utilize cold calling. Implementing a cold calling strategy allows you to interact with potential customers to explain the product you're selling and how it can solve any challenges that they or their company face. This allows you to build a stronger personal connection and establish trust between your company and your prospective customers. Traditional marketing methods, such as print ads, radio and TV commercials, billboards, and direct mail, have been around for decades and are still effective in reaching certain demographic and geographic audiences. They rely on offline media channels and offer a more personal touch to engage customers. Traditional marketing methods are particularly useful for local businesses that want to target a specific geographic area or demographic. On the other hand, digital marketing leverages online channels such as websites, social media platforms, email marketing, and paid search advertising to engage customers. It offers businesses the ability to target specific demographics and interests with precision and reach a wider audience. Digital marketing is particularly useful for businesses looking to expand their reach globally or target younger generations who are more tech-savvy. When designing a marketing strategy, it is crucial to choose the right combination of traditional and digital marketing methods based on your target audience and marketing goals. For example, if you are targeting older people who may not use social media, traditional marketing methods such as print ads and TV commercials may be more effective. Conversely, if you are targeting young tech-savvy consumers, digital marketing such as social media advertising may be more effective. In conclusion, a successful marketing strategy needs to balance the strengths of traditional and digital marketing methods. By combining their strengths, businesses can reach their target audience effectively, expand their reach, and drive growth. Audience growth, options like TV, radio and billboards can reach consumers in new markets and diverse geographic locations. More localized efforts such as flyers, direct mail and print ads can also engage consumers in a specific geographic area. Reusable materials, companies can often reuse the same flyers, TV ads or radio ads, such as an advertisement that runs every year during a specific holiday season. This way, they can save time and money while still promoting the business. Credibility, consumers associate traditional marketing with larger company budgets, which signals a brand's longevity growth potential and financial stability. Consumers may be more willing to purchase from companies that they associate with these qualities. Brand exposure, a multimedia traditional marketing campaign is a great opportunity to improve brand recall among consumers and increase familiarity with the company's mission, values and products. Cost, while some reusable traditional marketing methods can save money, paying for ad space and printing ad materials can be costly. Considerations about which demographics are likely to respond to which types of traditional marketing can result in more strategic and cost-effective marketing plans. Less clear KPIs, key performance indicators, KPIs, are metrics that marketers use to gauge audience engagement with an advertising campaign, and these are much easier to track digitally. Because traditional marketing doesn't offer immediate insights into consumer behavior, marketing teams can establish other benchmarks to gauge effectiveness such as measuring new customers gained or products sold since the campaign's launch. Less segmentation, digital marketers can use a variety of tools to make sure tailored ads appear in front of specific audience demographics, but traditional marketers don't have this advantage. Since they can't target their ads as precisely, traditional marketers may benefit from focusing their efforts on broad awareness about the company's values and products. Less adaptable, once a company records or prints an ad, it's time-consuming and expensive to make changes. Since traditional marketers can't update their materials quickly, it's best to focus on content that stays relevant for an extended period of time. Determine your budget Clarifying your budget limits at the start of the marketing campaign can help determine which marketing forms are available to you. For example, if a DV ad on a major network is unattainable, a direct mail campaign may be more attainable. Choose your message. Consistency is crucial in a marketing campaign, as tone, language, color and images that all aim to persuade the customer in the same way lead to better brand recall. 
consider establishing a campaign style guide to make sure every ad in the campaign is consistent and on brand in its messaging and purpose. Identify potential partners, if you plan to advertise on TV, on the radio or in a newspaper or magazine, you'll want to identify the stations or publications with which you could work. Reach out to these organizations to inquire about purchasing ad space, and remain prepared to discuss how their audiences can benefit from hearing about your product or service. Hire additional staff. Some traditional marketing campaigns may require experts like copywriters, graphic designers or videographers. If you don't have these resources on your marketing team, consider working with freelancers or with an agency service to accomplish your marketing goals on time and within your budget. It is important to keep in mind that both traditional and digital marketing methods have their own advantages and disadvantages, and it ultimately depends on the specific needs and goals of the business. Therefore, it is essential to always evaluate the effectiveness of your marketing strategy and make adjustments as necessary to ensure optimal results. As technology continues to evolve, it is important for businesses to stay up to date with the latest trends and techniques to continue to engage customers and drive growth. Additionally, a combination of both traditional and digital marketing techniques can often provide a well-rounded and comprehensive approach to reaching customers. This can include using traditional methods such as print advertisements, television commercials, and direct mail alongside digital methods such as social media marketing, email campaigns, and search engine optimization. Ultimately, the key to success in marketing is to continually test and measure the results of your efforts, and adjust accordingly. By staying flexible, Willing to experiment with new techniques and technologies, and staying attuned to the changing preferences and behaviors of your target audience, businesses can stay ahead of the competition and achieve long-term success. Finally, building strong relationships with customers and fostering loyalty through exceptional customer service and personalized experiences can help businesses not only retain existing customers but also attract new ones through word-of-mouth referrals and positive reviews. In sum, Successful marketing requires a combination of creativity, strategy, data analysis, and a customer-centric approach. By staying focused on delivering value and building strong relationships with customers, businesses can stay ahead of the curve and achieve sustainable growth. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe the channel.